The aura of playing Medina Country Club is unlike anywhere else. Everything from the championship tournaments that have been hosted here to the gorgeous nature and cathedral-like clubhouse create an almost, dare I say, spiritual-like experience for a golfer. So what's going on golfers, Karsten here. For today's video, we're diving into what makes Medina Country Club so special. You can help me out a ton by subscribing, and if you do, leave me a comment down below. I'll respond to every single one. All right, let's dive in. Driving onto Medina Country Club's property is an unforgettable experience for a golfer as one is introduced to one of the most gorgeous and iconic clubhouses in the entire world. In fact, it was named the sixth most iconic clubhouse in the world by golf.com, put there with the likes of Augusta National, Shinnecock Hills, and even St. Andrews. The Medina temple-like clubhouse was inspired by its Masonic founders, the Shriners, and it weaves Byzantine, Italian, and Louis XIV architecture into its design. As the course was originally built in 1925, it comes as no surprise that Medina features a very traditional and old school golf experience. Originally designed by Tom Bendelow, Medina remains very true to the original land with tons of beautiful green nature, rolling hills, and tree-lined fairways. In fact, one of the trees on course number three called Bebs Oak was originally germinated in 1664. Medina is meticulously manicured and truly is one of the most beautiful golf courses and pieces of land in America. In fact, it's named the 53rd best golf course in America by Golf Digest. The signature holes of course number three, Medina's tournament course, are definitely the par threes of hole number two, playing 172 yards, hole number 13, playing 190 yards, and hole number 17, playing only 156 yards from the silver tees. Though many of them aren't very long, and you're usually hitting onto bigger greens, they all feel pretty intimidating and longer than what they actually are. As you can see, the beauty of Medina's nature is especially on display here with the dark green coloring and backdrop of the tall old trees. Medina has fantastic playability and whether someone is newer or an experienced golfer, they will love to play Medina, which was one of the intended goals of many of Tom Bendelow's courses. That being said, it certainly provides a unique challenge that combines both target golf, risk reward, and the need for distance. If one goes into playing Medina with the expectation of views like a Whistling Straits or Arcadia Bluffs, they'll likely be disappointed. There isn't per se that breathtaking view, though there are many consistently great golf holes. What makes Medina truly special is the rich tradition and ambiance that can truly be felt on every hole. Medina is awesome and we haven't even gotten to its best part, its incredible golf history. It's hosted notable tournaments like three US Opens, one Senior Open won by Gary Player, two PGA Championships, and even one Ryder Cup, which us Americans would prefer to forget. It has even hosted four BMW Championships, or as it was previously known, the Western Open. The boss man himself has certainly enjoyed his time at Medina, winning both PGA Championships here in 2006 and in 1999, where he outdueled a 19-year-old Sergio Garcia for the win. Though Tiger may have won the war, it's Sergio Garcia's second shot on 16 that remains the most memorable of this tournament. On the final day of the tournament, Tiger was in control with a four-shot lead until a surge from Sergio cut that lead to one with all the momentum swinging in Sergio Garcia's direction. Then his potentially historic comeback was thrown into question after his drive on 16 landed right at the base of an oak tree. Rather than playing it safe and punching it out, Sergio closed his eyes, took a full swing, and put it on the green where he went on for one of the more historic two putts for par. Though Tiger was ultimately able to fend off his run and win by a stroke, 
Sergio Six Iron will forever go down in both Medina and golf history. Medina is also, unfortunately, home to the infamous Miracle at Medina Ryder Cup. On that final day, the U.S. held a commanding 10-6 lead, meaning they only needed 4.5 points to win. In fact, I remember this day well as I didn't even watch the tournament because I thought it was so in the bag for the U.S. Of the 12 matches that happened that day, Europe won 8 of them outright and tying another one for one of the most historic comebacks in golf history, winning 14 and a half to 13 and a half. In fact, it was Tiger Woods' missed putt where he had to concede the hole to Francisco Molinari, of all people, that won the tournament for the European team, making it their fifth win out of the last six Ryder Cups. Now for my final grade of playing Medina Country Club, which though it doesn't have the views of a Whistling Straits, or is built on the land of a pebble beach like we've become so accustomed to watching on TV. It helped pave the way and painted a picture of what other great golf courses could be here in America. It will also always hold a special place in golf tradition because of the many historic moments and major tournaments that happened here. So my recommendation is if the opportunity presents itself to play Medina, clear your calendar, do whatever you have to do because it is totally worth it. There's no question about it that Medina is not only one of the best golf courses in Illinois, but the entire Midwest and all of America as well. So there you have it. If you found this video relevant, please like and subscribe. Here's two other videos that I think you'll like. And as always, play well, my fellow hacks.